Today we're gonna go over how to add the super clean and simple freeze frame effect into your next video. This freeze frame effect is really easy to do, so drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So starting off in Premiere Pro, you're gonna wanna find a frame where you want the effect to take place, right click on it, and then click add frame hold. That's gonna split your clip and make it go from playing like a video to a complete freeze frame for the rest of the clip. Then holding Alt on our clip, we're gonna drag up just to duplicate it, and then go to the pen tool and mask around your subject. Once you've gone ahead and masked around your subject, I turned the feather down to zero. That way it's a harsh edge and then copied that mask onto the other layer below it as well. That way the background's completely black and we just see summers here. And then I wanted to add something into the background to make it stand out a bit more. So I added a paper texture for my ultimate texture bundle V1 and then brought on color balance HLS and just turned down the saturation. I also went ahead and added a little bit of noise and just made sure to turn off the color noise. And then I reintroduced the background by duplicating our clip layer, deleting the mask, and then turning that paper layer to screen. Also added on a little bit of noise to that background clip and then just turned down the brightness on that background clip a little bit. So there's a mixture between the paper texture and the original clip. And then I went 10 frames in and cut that second freeze frame and then just moved it over to the side. And then I repeated that process two more times by just duplicating that freeze frame layer with the mask already on it and then changing the scale and position. And then with this last freeze frame, I actually added on invert like they did in the music video just to make it stand out a little bit more. I changed the channel to luminance that way it just matches the vibe of the video. And then after that, I nested that whole entire clip with all the freeze frames and masks and everything. And then added transform on there with the shutter angle at 360 and keyframe the scale from 120 to 100. That way it just zooms out throughout. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this tutorial. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on the video and be subscribed because I'm uploading a tutorial every single day for this month. This one was definitely a little bit more of a simple one, but still very clean. And I think it's something that you can add into your video. If you're interested in the paper texture that I used in the video, I'll have it linked down in the description. That's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.